Hello and welcome to a new video and in fact a first. In this video I'm going to be addressing a problem that was raised by uh, one of the subscribers to this channel, Imran from Altrincham in the UK. Uh, he contacted me after seeing a previous video that I did about sorting dates in Excel and he explained he had a problem and this in fact is his spreadsheet that he sent me. And the problem, he explained, was that the dates would not sort by year. He had the dates. You can see we've got 2010 here, 2014, 2011, and 16. They're all out of order. And he said that if he tried my method of sorting the dates, it didn't work. So I had a look. Um, and sure enough, if I went to data and I clicked the A to Z, and we expand that across the whole thing, it looks at first as though it's sorted it by year. We've got 2004 down here, then 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all looking really good. But hang on a minute, now we've got, after 2015, we've got 14, 11, 16, 7, 12, and you can see the rest of them are just completely out of order. 2011, 2015, and then we go all, all the way back to 2005. Um, so utterly hopeless. And I had a look at this and could see, no, it wasn't working. Um, I had a look online and found a lot of people had this same problem, that this wasn't unique to Imram. So I had a look at it. Um, I've got a solution. And in this video, I'm going to show you what to do and how to solve this problem if your dates in Excel are not sorting correctly by year. So one of the first things that I wondered was whether the date was actually formatted as a date. That would be obvious, it would make sense, uh, because if your cells are formatted as dates, they should simply sort when you click the A to Z button. Um, and I've clicked on this cell here. You can see that it contains a date, the 1st of January 2010. And if I click at the top, I can see that in this format box, it definitely has got date written in there. If I click on the number pop out, again, I can see date. I can see we've got the date there. That looks fantastic. But here's the little test to try. If I type a formula in this cell that says equals is text, and then I open brackets and I click on that cell and I close brackets, what I should see is the word false. If I see the word false, it means that in this cell here, we don't just have text, we have a date instead. But when I press enter, I get the word true. In other words, although this cell contains a date, Although up here we see that it's formatted as date, and we can see here again it's selected as date, even the format of that. It's not being recognized by Microsoft Excel as a date. Let me show you what should happen. In this cell, if I was to type um, 1, 1, 2010, exactly the same as in this cell, and I press enter, then I click into this cell and I type equals is text, and I click on the date that I've typed, which looks exactly the same. When I press enter, I get false because this date is recognized by Excel as a date. You might also notice visually a difference between the two. This one, the date is on the left hand side. Text generally starts from the left hand side. On this one, it's right aligned on the right hand side. Again, dates tend to be automatically formatted right aligned. So there's a couple little things that you can do to check to see if your dates are being recognized as text. And in this case, they're not, uh, sorry, as dates rather. So they're not. So what do we do? Okay, here's the solution. First of all, I'm going to select the whole of column C. So I've selected all of these dates and then I'm going to go to the data tab at the top. I'm then going to come over here to this option that says text to columns. What I'm looking to do is to split up the three columns that we have here. If I click text to columns and I can simply click next on this case. And here, make sure that none of these boxes here are ticked. Make sure all of these, all of these boxes here, in fact, are completely empty. Then click Next. And in this one, uh, we can see we've got the General option selected. Come down here and choose Date. 
Now it's important to make sure that we have the day, the month, well the month and day, the right way around. And you can see clearly, for example, in this case we've got uh, 127. So we know that it's not the first of the 27th month. Um, this is obviously written in the UK format, so we have the month and then the day and then the year. So we need to make sure we get that right. Uh, so clearly this is not day, month, year, it's month, day, year. So we're swapping over the first two columns effectively. So we've split what is effectively three columns separated by a forward slash, split those up, and then just swapped around the first two columns to format that, in, or to get Excel at least, to recognize that as a viable date. Once we've done that, we can click on Finish, and what happens is this is now recognized as a date. Straight away, we can tell that because it's right aligned. Um, we can change the format of the date. You'll recognize that this is now written long, uh, as a long date. I can simply select that column now, go back to home, click on the little number pop out here and select the type of date format, which we, in fact I think was this first one here uh, that Imran had written them out. So I'm going to choose that one there, click OK. So apparently we're back to where we started. We now have all of our dates uh, written in the same way that Imran wrote his dates. Um, but look what happens now if I try to sort this column. I'll click just on this one column and go to data and click A to Z. It will ask me if I want to expand the selection. Um, yes, I will do, of course. I'll click sort and now let's have a look at what's happened. We're starting off here with uh, 15th of November 2004. So look at the years 2004, 2005. I'll keep scrolling and we've got 9, 10, 2011, 2012, 2014, 2015, 2016. And we can see that the most recent date is 18th of April uh, 2016. And we can see before that we've got February, January, and then back into 2015, December. In other words, all of the dates now are sorted correctly, as Imran had every right to expect that they would be. One final check is to type in this cell, equals is text, and if I open the brackets and I click on that cell there and close it, we'll see we get a false. This is indeed now recognized as a date, and we can manipulate it as you would be able to uh, manipulate any date in Microsoft Excel. So I hope you did find that useful. It certainly seems to have frustrated the heck out of a lot of people online. Um, if you did find that useful, please do consider sharing this video so that other people uh, can find out how to get that irritating problem sorted. Uh, if you have any other questions or any uh, requests for uh, specific help, please do drop me a comment below and I do try and read and respond to all comments um, on this channel. So thank you again for your time. Thank you very much Imran for an interesting problem and I hope that uh, has helped solved it for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to this channel and I look forward very much to hearing your comments and feedback um, and see you in the next video.